today we are covering question and answers for Aruba certified switching associate HPE6A72 if you find this content helpful please like comment and subscribe to find the complete list of question and answers go to the playlist link provided in the description the question is what is the benefit of choosing a three tier design with routing at the aggregation layer the options are option a better core router performance by offloading processing option b shifting endpoint access to the aggregation layer from the access layer option c using access control list at the core to improve performance option d connecting wan mpls and data center access to the aggregation layer the correct answer is option a the next question is what are the benefits of a three tier design over a two tier choose to option a offloading processing from the core without routing at the access layer option b can use lower speed links between core to aggregation and aggregation to access given the use of an aggregation layer option c lowering the cost of a deployment due to needing less switches all over option d better scalability in a campus with a large number of buildings option e gaining the flexibility to connect the data center to any access layer switch the correct answers are option a and d the next question is which command will suppress lldp messages from aggressing on a given port while still allowing lldp to be enabled on the switch please have a look at the options the correct answer is option b today we are covering question and answers for aruba certified switching associate hpe6 a72 if you find this content helpful please like comment and subscribe to find the complete list of question and answers go to the playlist link provided in the description our question is refer to the exhibit please have a look at the given exhibit using the static ip address configured above what is the converted binary value of the third octet assigned to the local interface please have a look at the options the correct answer is option a the next question is drag drop match the switching term to the correct definition select and place please have a look at the term and the definition now have a look at the answer The next question is what is correct description of a multi layer switch the options are option a a switch with layer 3 routing capabilities but lacks any layer 1 features as a consequence option b any switch that supports poe lldp met and flow control option c has all the functionality of a layer 2 switch and most of the functionality of a layer 3 router option d multi layer refers specifically to using chessis switches with several line cards over stack port switch the correct answer is option c today we are covering question and answers for aruba certified switching associate hpe6 a72 if you find this content helpful please like comment and subscribe to find the complete list of question and answers go to the playlist link provided in the description the question is what are the commands to disable ssh and https services from the default vrf please have a look at the options 
The correct answer is option D. The next question is what are the two primary concerns regarding the layer 2 loops in a redundant topology? Choose two. Option A routing loops. Option B cost associated with upgrading from copper to fiber. Option C multiple frame copies leading to instability of the MAC address table. Option D security issues with the redundant loop indicating to hackers that a backdoor exists. Option E broadcast storms. The correct answer is option C and D. The question is what command will save your configuration on an Aruba AOS CX switch so that your changes automatically load to next reboot? Please have a look at the options. The correct answer is option A. The next question is what is the binary conversion of a hexadecimal value? 0x2001. Please have a look at the options. The correct answer is option D. The next question is what command displays information regarding the secondary image installed on an AOS CX switch? Option A show secondary, option B show version detail, option C show version, option D show images. The correct answer is option D. Today we are discussing question and answers for Aruba Certified Switching Associate HPE 6A72. If you find this content helpful, please like, comment and subscribe. To find the complete list of question and answers, go to the playlist link provided in the description. The question is. What is the process where a compute device converts logical data bits into a correct physical representation depending on the media? Option A. Demodulation Option B. Modulation Option C. Propagation Option D. Encapsulation Correct answer is Option D. Next question is Which two port characteristics must match between LAG interface choose two option A port number option B duplex option C member ID option D media type option E chassis number correct answers are option B and D next question is what is an available command to an Aruba Aruba AOS CX switch that could back up the secondary image to a secure remote repository. Please have a look at the options. Correct answer is option B. Next question is which command can be used to find the serial number of an Aruba OS CX switch? Option A command inventory. Option B command version. Option C the command showing running configuration. Option D, the command show system. Correct answer is option D. The next question is, which two statements accurately describe the features of net edit? Choose two. Option A, the net edit can be used to configure and validate any third party device that supports SSH and REST access. Option B, Net edit includes trial licensing for up to 100 nodes. Option C. Net edit can perform configuration and compliance validation. Option D. Net edit supports viewing and editing multiple devices using a single deployment plan. Option E. Net edit can run on mobile device using Android or Apple iOS. Correct answers are option C and D. Next question is what are the two mechanisms supported on AOS CX 6300 switches used in multi-active detection to determine the status of a primary number? Choose two. Option A management interface split detection. Option B peer switch based detection. Option C, look back, keep alive. Option D, ARP based. Option E, BFD.
The correct answers are option A and D. Today we are covering question and answers for Aruba Certified Switching Associate HPE6 A72. If you find this content helpful, please like, comment and subscribe. To find the complete list of question and answers, go to the playlist link provided in the description. The question is, what is true about VSX? Choose two. Option A, VSX is ideal for campus access layer deployments where ease of deployment is needed. Option B, VSX allows upgrading members with near zero downtime or loss of packets. Option C, VSX is available on all Aruba OS CX switches except the 6300F model. Option D, VSX is implemented on static port switches. VSX plus needed to stack chassis together. Option E, VSX runs separate control planes to reduce latency and improve performance. The correct answers are option B and E. The next question is refer to the exhibit. Please have a look. What change on core 1 will result in a successful ping to the given address? Please have a look from the management interface. Please have a look at the options. The correct answer is option A. The next question is service OS login admin, SVOS password, enter password, confirm password. Have a look please. The login password to access an Aruba AOS CX was lost. After connecting to the switch console port, a reboot is performed and the service OS console is accessed as shown above. What is the default password that is required for the admin count while user while under the service OS console? The options are option A. No password is set for the account. Option B, password. Option C, forget me. Option D, the same login password that has lost originally. The correct answer is option C. The next question is refer to the exhibit. Please have a look. Have a look at the options too. The correct answer is option A. Today we are covering question and answers for Aruba Certified Switching Associate HPE6 A72. If you find this content helpful, please like, comment and subscribe. To find the complete list of question and answers, go to the playlist link provided in the description. The question is refer to the exhibit. Please have a look. Which command on access A2 port, please have a look, will enable connectivity between PC1 and server1 without any routing enabled in the network. Please have a look at the options. The correct answer is option B. The next question is what connectivity commands are available on AOS CX switches? Choose 2. Options are option A net status, option B trace route, option C ping, option D path ping, option E trusset. The correct answers are option B and C. The next question is refer to the exhibit. Please have a look. All switches are running Aruba OS CX. While working in the terminal of access 2, you are unable to reach server 1 using SSH. What is the correct command to ping server 1 from access 2 to test reachability? Please have a look at the options. The correct answer is option D. 
द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज विच इज स्टेटमेंट इज करेक्ट रिगार्डिंग पावरिंग ऑफ एन अरूबा एक्सेस पॉइंट ऑप्शन ए पी ओ ई और पी ओ ई प्लस इज ओनली यूज हु इज इथर नेट दैट इज कैरीड ओवर मल्टीपल मोड फाइबर केबलिंग ऑप्शन बी यूजिंग स्विच पोर्ट फॉर दिस रीजन इज अननेसेसरी बिकॉज अरूबा एक्सेस पॉइंट टिपिकली यूज एन ए सी टू डी सी पावर एडेप्टर टू ड्रॉ पावर ऑप्शन सी पी ओ ई और पी ओ ई प्लस इनेबल्ड स्विच पोर्ट्स आर रेयरली यूज गिवन कंसर्न अबाउट काउजिंग इलेक्ट्रिकल इंटरफेस विथ द डेटा ऑल्सो कैरीड ओवर इथरनेट केबलिंग ऑप्शन डी मोस्ट एडमिनिस्ट्रेटर्स यूज पी ओ ई और पी ओ ई प्लस इनेबल्ड स्विच पोर्ट्स टू प्रोवाइड बोथ इथरनेट कनेक्टिविटी एंड पावर टू द ए पी द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन डी Today we are covering question and answers for Aruba Certified Switching Associate HPE six A seven two. If you find this content helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe. To find the complete list of question and answers, go to the playlist link provided in the description. The next question is hot spot. Click on the colored box that correspond with the line. that best represent multicast traffic flow hot area please have a look now look for the answer the blue box is the correct one the blue colored box the next question is refer to the exhibit please have a look what commands will successfully enable the svi for vlan 100 on interface 1 by 1 by 1 to produce the result displayed in the command show ip interface brief in the exhibit please have a look now look for the options please The correct answer is option C. The next question is what are the two feature in a two tier design that are implemented at the access layer? Choose two. Option A VPN access, option B WAN MPLS connectivity, option C endpoint access, option D deep packet inspection, option E power over ethernet. The correct answers are option C and E. The next question is which network category applies to the Soho internet internal network? Option A SD WAN, option B LAN, option C WAN, option D internet. The correct answer is option D. Today we are covering question and answers for Aruba certified switching associate HPE six A seven two. If you find this content helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe. To find the complete list of question and answers, go to the playlist link provided in the description. The question is: What are the two features of a three tier design? Choose two. The options are: Option A removes the distribution layer in favor of a spine lift design used in modern data center deployments option b adds a distribution layer to free up resources from the core for improved performance and routing throughput option c a more scalable design over by leveraging a distribution layer to handle layer 3 routing and access control in large deployment option d uses only layer 2 access on the ac access and the core with layer 3 routing and access control provide at the distribution layer option e is considered legacy by requiring a large flat layer 2 broadcast domain from core to access and should be avoided the correct answers are option b and c 
the next question is what are the two ospf attributes within the hello messages that must match to the successfully established neighbor relationship choose two option a router id option b priority option c hello and dead intervals option d area id option e process id the correct answers are option c and d the next question is your customer has 349 users in a two story building what are the two benefits of a two tier design choose two option a layer 2 and layer 3 protocols run close to the end points to better implement acl and qos policy at the edge option b improved performance by offloading processing from the access layer to the core option c use of layer 2 switches at the access layer can process and route traffic from attached aps option d support the wan mpls internet and data center directory on the collapsed core option e provides a more cost effective solution given that no additional switches are required for a third tier the correct answers are option a and e the next question is which two options are the layer 3 routing protocols choose two option a bgp option b lltp option c ospf option d mpls option e 802.380 the correct answers are option a and c today we are covering question and answers for aruba certified switching associate hpe6 a72 if you find this content helpful please like comment and subscribe to find the complete list of question and answers go to the playlist link provided in the description the question is aruba access point tunnel traffic in a campus to the mobility controller using which protocol option a control and processing of wireless points option b generic routing encapsulation gre option c lightweight access point protocol lwawp option d process application programming interface papi the correct answer is option b next question is refer to the exhibit please have a look at the given exhibit which command will produce the above output please have a look at the options the correct answer is option d the next question is which switch supports a maximum of 8 line cards 3 fabric modules and 2 management cards the options are option a aruba 8400 option b aruba 8408 option c aruba 6410 option d aruba 5412r the correct answer is option a the next question is what is the login and password combination is used when first configuring an aruba oscx switch from factory default option a login admin and password admin option b login admin and password field empty option c login admin and password forget me option d login admin and password password the correct answer is option b the next question is what is the link layer discovery protocol option a a discovery protocol used when layer 3 devices to determine routes within a single autonomous system option b a standardized ipv6 neighbor discovery protocol is used to replace the arp and broadcast mechanism used in ipv4 option c a standardized protocol for communicating directly connected device information and capabilities 
ऑप्शन डी एन अरूबा प्रोपिटरी डिस्कवरी प्रोटोकॉल सपोर्टेड इन ऑल अरूबा स्विचेस अलोंग विद सिस्को डिस्कवरी प्रोटोकॉल और सी डी पी द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन सी टू डे वी आर कवरिंग क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर फॉर अरूबा सर्टिफाइड स्विचिंग एसोसिएट एच पी ई सिक्स ए सेवन टू इफ यू फाइंड दिस कंटेंट हेल्पफुल प्लीज लाइक कमेंट एंड सब्सक्राइब To find the complete list of question and answers go to the playlist link provided in the description The question is the following command is used please have a look What is the result option A the command will fail because rollback command must be issued from global config mode option B The switch will revert the running configuration to the checkpoint called please have a look without a reboot option C the command will fail because it is incomplete option D the switch will use the checkpoint please have a look as the starting configuration on the next reboot the correct answer is option B The next question is which switches support Aruba virtual switching extension VSX choose two option A Aruba 6405 option B Aruba 2930F option C Aruba 8400 option D Aruba 5406R option E Aruba 8350 The correct answers are option A and C. The next question is which two options are the layer 2 protocols? Choose two. Option A 802.1q, option B IPsec, option C STP, option D RIP, option E 802.11af. The correct answers are option A and C. The next question is you need to remote into an AOS CX switch using SSH in order to update the management IP address for future connections. Unfortunately, you misconfigured the IP address and now logged out of the switch. What command could you have issued before making changes? that would have recovered the original switch configuration after 10 minutes the options are option a checkpoint rollback 10 option b checkpoint auto 10 option c checkpoint auto confirm 10 option d boot system secondary 10 the correct answer is option b the next question is which ethernet port combination does the aruba 5400r zl2 switch series support option a 10 by 100 megabit ethernet gigabit ethernet and 100 gigabit ethernet option b gigabit ethernet 25 gigabit ethernet and 40 gigabit ethernet option c 1 by 100 megabit ethernet gigabit ethernet 25 gigabit ethernet and 100 gigabit ethernet option d 1 by 100 megabit ethernet gigabit ethernet and 40 gigabit ethernet the correct answer is option d next question is refer to the exhibit please have a look Which co what command output shown above gives the optic series, optic serial number and part number information? Option A, show interface physical. Option B, show interface trans transceiver. Option C, show inventory. Option D, show interface optics. The correct answer is option B. Today we are covering question and answers for Aruba Certified Switching Associate HPE6A72. 
If you find this content helpful, please like, comment and subscribe. To find the complete list of question and answers, go to the playlist link provided in the description. The question is refer to the exhibit. Please have a look. What VSF command produces the above output? Option A. Show VSF member. Option B. Show VSF link. Option C. Show VSF topology. Option D. Show VSF detail. The correct answer is option C. The next question is which statement is correct regarding ACLS and TCAM usage? Option A. Applying an ACL to a group of ports consumes the same resources as specific ACE entries. Option B. Using object groups consumes the same resource as specific ACE entries. Option C. Compression is automatically enabled for ASIC TCAMS on AOSCX switches. Option D. Applying an ACL to the group of VLANs consumes the same resources as specific ACE entries. The correct answer is option B. The next question is what is correct regarding the late limiting, rate limiting and aggress Q shaping on AOSCX switches? Option A. Only a traffic rate and burst size can be defined for a queue. Option B. Limit can be defined only for broadcast and multicast traffic. Option C. Rate limiting and aggress queue shaping can be used to restrict inbound traffic. Option D. Rate limiting and aggress queue shaping can be applied globally. The correct answer is option A. The next question is a network administrator needs to replace an antiquated access layer solution with a modular solution involving AOSCX switches. The administrator wants to leverage virtual switching technologies. The solutions need to support high availability with dual control planes. Which solution should the administrator implement? Please look at the options. The correct answer is option A. Today we are covering question and answers for Aruba Certified Switching Associate HPE 6A72. If you find this content helpful, please like, comment and subscribe. To find the complete list of question and answers, go to the playlist link provided in the description. The question is drag drop. Match each network protocol to the correct server listening port. Not all answers will be used. Select and place. Please have a look at the serving listening port and the protocol. Now look for the answer. The next question is refer to the exhibit. Please have a look. What is the correct binary conversion of the last two hexadecimal characters of the physical address? Please look at the options. The correct answer is option B. The next question is which two statements accurately describe stacking with Aruba switches? Choose two. Option A. A VSF stack is allowed between an AOSCX 6300M and 6300F switches. Option B. VSF is a core or aggregation layer stacking technology due to high resiliency of sharing a single control plane. Option C. A VSF feature is not compatible between AOSCX and AOS platform. Option D. A VSF stack is allowed between an AOS 5400R and an AOS CX6400. Option E. A VSF and VSX are stacking option 
with the AOS CX 8320, 8325, 8400 and 6400 models. The correct answers are option B and E. The next question is which field in the IPv4 header indicates whether the IP packet carries TCP or UDP traffic? Option A protocol, Option B IHL, Option C TTL, Option D identification. The correct answer is Option A. The next question is With what other technology does half duplex combination correctly match? Option A, a pair of fiber optic strand allowing transmit on one and receive on the other at the same time. Option B, a mobile phone call. Option C, point to point connections between two switches allowing concurrent transmit and receive. Option D, CB radio using push to talk. The correct answer is option d today we are covering question and answers for aruba certified switching associate hpe6 a72 if you find this content helpful please like comment and subscribe to find the complete list of question and answers go to the playlist link provided in the description the question is which option correctly describes a wan network option a a group of computer resources that communicates between geographically separate location. Option B. A connection between two separate buildings in the same campus. Option C. A network of devices over long distances but limited to within a single ISP. Option D. Compute resources that are networked locally over wireless. The correct answer is option A. Next question is refer to the exhibit. Please have a look. Switch 1 is not the root bridge. The ports shown are all the connected point to point interface. What role hidden by the blue rectangle does will be assigned to the lag 1 interface? Option A, alternate. Option B, backup. Option C, root. Option D, designated. The correct answer is option C. The next question is refer to the exhibit. Please have a look. What command will display the debug L2 Mac events? Option A, show module L2 Mac. Option B, show debug terminal. Option C, show debug buffer module L2 Mac. Option D, show debug all. The correct answer is option C. Next question is what are the two available options as part of the DHCP offer message? Choose two. Option A, SSID. Option B, DNS server IP. <coughs> option C, subnet mask. Option D, LLDP MED. Option E, VLAN ID. The correct answers are option B and C. Today we are covering question and answers for Aruba Certified Switching Associate HPE6 A72. If you find this content helpful, please like, comment and subscribe. To find the complete list of question and answers, go to the playlist link provided in the description. The question is, a company has an existing wireless solution involving Aruba APS and mobility controllers running 8.4 code. The solution leverages a third party AAA solution. The company is replacing existing access switches with AOS CX 6300 and 6400 switches. The company wants to leverage the same security and firewall policies for both wired and wireless traffic. Which solution should the company implant? Implement Option A. Radius Dynamic Authorization Option B. 
डाउनलोडेबल यूजर रोल्स ऑप्शन सी आई सेक ऑप्शन डी यूजर बेस्ड टनलिंग द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन ए द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज विच ऑप्शन करेक्टली डिफाइंस हाउ टू आइडेंटिफाई अ वी लैन एज अ वॉइस वी लैन ऑन द एओ एस सी एक्स स्विच प्लीज हैव अ लुक एट द ऑप्शन The correct answer is option A C The next question is a network engineer is having a problem adding a custom written script to an AOS CX switch please have a look an AEGUI the script is written in python and was successfully added on other AOS CX switches the engineer examines the following item from the CLE on the switch please have a look what should the engineer perform to fix the issue option a install the script signature before installing new script option b ensure the engineer please have a look desktops and the aos cx switch are synchronized to the same ntp server option c enable trust settings for the aos cx switch please have a look ssl certificate option d remove a script that is no longer used before installing the new script the correct answer is option d today we are covering question and answers for aruba certified switching associate hpe6 a72 if you find this content helpful please like comment and subscribe to find the complete list of question and answers go to the playlist link provided in the description the question is which two types of routes can be found in the ip routing table of an aruba aos switch choose two the options are option a local option b eigrp option c bgp option d isis option e ripng the correct answers are option a and c the next question is which port or ports should be allowed through the firewall so that an aos cx switch can act as an snmp agent option a udp 1812 and udp 1813 option b udp 161 option c tcp 443 option d udp 162 the correct answer is option b the next question is what are the two methods for remotely managing an aruba aos cx switch choose two option a snmp v2c option b https option c usb c console option d telnet option e ssh the correct answers are option b and e the next question is which two commands will save the running config so that changes will be loaded automatically on the next reboot choose two option a write memory option b save option c copy config config 1 config startup config option d copy running config startup config option e copy running config checkpoint boot config the correct answers are option a and d The next question is which two options are correct regarding IEEE 802.11 AX standard choose two option A allows transmission of up to 4.8 Gbps option B is an emerging satellite connection standard to allow wireless connection anywhere in the world option C operates only in the 5 gigahertz similar to 802.11ac option d 
operates in both the 2.4 gigahertz and uh, 5 gigahertz radio bands option e is the first wlan standard to no longer use electromagnetic signal to transmit data the correct answers are option a and d